Los Angeles hotel in 2016 allegedly shows Combs assaulting then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway. A now-settled lawsuit filed by Ventura claimed that she was trying to leave the hotel. The glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry hide some very dark truths and toxic people. Recent events surrounding Sean Diddy Combs have shattered this illusion, exposing disturbing realities. Welcome to More Than a Label. This video delves into the allegations against Combs and their implications for collective consciousness. We also explore how these revelations signify a shift towards the rise of the divine feminine, challenging the toxic lives led by some of the most powerful figures in entertainment and beyond. Sean Diddy Combs, once synonymous with success in the music industry, faces severe allegations. Federal authorities recently raided properties linked to Combs as part of a sex trafficking investigation following multiple accusations of sexual assault and abuse. His ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, has made some of the most harrowing claims. In a November 2023 lawsuit, Ventura detailed over 15 years of physical, sexual, and mental abuse by Combs. The accusations include forcing her into sexual acts with other men, which is just horrendous. And there's also physical assault and rape. Other victims have also come forward, including a male music producer, who accused Combs of sexual assault and coercion. All in all, it doesn't look good for Diddy. The turning point came when CNN released surveillance footage from 2016 showing Combs assaulting Ventura. In the video, Combs grabs, shoves, kicks, and throws objects at Ventura, who just surrenders and does nothing. Combs' subsequent public apology admitting his behavior was inexcusable further confirms the seriousness of the accusations against him. Diddy posted an apology video on his Instagram. While admitting to inexcusable behavior, he didn't mention the details of his actions or mention Cassie Ventura. Uh, I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. And seriously, he just looks insincere and hypocritical. Many see this as a tactical move to protect his reputation rather than a sincere apology. Legal experts and Ventura's attorney criticized the video, calling it self-serving and insufficient in addressing the serious harm he caused. It only shows his willful blindness when it comes to the levels of toxicity of his ego. Instead of offering clarity or closure, the video just increased doubt about Combs' accountability. It doesn't show a redeemed man. It only shows someone drowning in his toxicity. The cases of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and Diddy and Cassie mirror each other in how they publicly expose the hidden abuses and toxic dynamics within high-profile relationships. The Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial has been a critical moment revealing deep issues that resonate with our collective consciousness. Depp has faced severe accusations from his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Depp, who is highly intuitive and spiritually sharp, has struggled with substance abuse, which has affected his life and relationships. Accused of abuse by Heard, Depp claims he was the actual victim, a narrative that challenges his public persona. This trial has put his personal struggles and strengths on display, showing his honesty about his flaws and addictions. Diagnosed with borderline and histrionic personality disorders, her behavior during the trial has highlighted issues of projection and manipulation. Her disorder doesn't justify her toxicity though. Both Depp and Heard are flawed individuals, brought together for reasons that now extend beyond their private lives into the public sphere. Their highly visible trial offers society a mirror, reflecting our collective struggles with aggression, control, and repeated cycles of dysfunction. In both the Depp, Heard, and Combs Ventura cases, the emergence of previously hidden truths have been pivotal. Both cases 
demonstrate that the court of public opinion plays a crucial role in seeking accountability. These revelations disrupt the narratives crafted by the abusers and bring justice to the victims. The resilience of truth shows that, no matter how powerful the oppressor, the truth will eventually surface, leading to justice and healing. In the unmasking of illusions, Combs' downfall reveals that behind the polished exteriors of fame and fortune, there can lie a reality marred by abuse and exploitation. This unmasking parallels the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case, where public perceptions were challenged and deeper truths emerged. Both cases show that truth, no matter how deeply buried, eventually resurfaces forcing society to confront uncomfortable realities. Carl Jung, the renowned Swiss psychiatrist, emphasized that the only evil is that which we inflict upon ourselves through ignorance. The unmasking of these illusions represents a collective enlightenment where society is forced to acknowledge the shadows lurking behind the facades of success and glamour. By bringing these hidden truths to light, we confront our collective ignorance and take the first steps towards healing and transformation. The case of Combs contribute to a broader awakening within collective consciousness. As more victims come forward and powerful figures are held accountable, society reevaluates its values and the true cost of success. The myth that power and happiness come from glamorous but toxic lives is increasingly being debunked. This awakening echoes Jung's idea that becoming conscious of our inner darkness is essential for growth. As a society, we are beginning to recognize that true power lies not in domination or exploitation, but in authenticity, empathy, and ethical behavior. The exposure of Combs' abusive actions forces us to re-examine our heroes and redefine what it means to lead a successful and fulfilling life. The rise of the divine feminine signifies a shift towards valuing empathy, compassion, and genuine empowerment over dominance and control. This empowerment reflects Jung's concept of the anima the feminine aspect of the male psyche which, when integrated, brings balance and harmony. By embracing the qualities of the divine feminine, society moves towards a more balanced and holistic approach to power and success, where nurturing and collaboration are valued over aggression and competition. Diddy's recent controversies reveal a significant disconnection from his anima, the feminine aspect of his psyche. According to Jungian psychology, integrating the anima is essential for achieving balance and harmony within oneself. Combs' alleged actions, abuse, control, and aggression demonstrate a dominance of toxic masculinity and a suppression of his anima qualities, such as empathy and compassion. In the leaked video where Diddy assaults Cassie, her response is striking. Instead of retaliating or resisting, she surrenders and endures the abuse with a calm composure. This reaction reflects a profound inner strength and a deep faith in the truth. Cassie's demeanor suggests an understanding that while she may be physically overpowered, the moral truth stands firmly on her side. Her surrender is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to her resilience and trust in justice or karma, if you want to call it that. She acted in a brave way. Keeping calm while being attacked is a sign of inner strength. Cassie's faith that the truth would eventually come to light has been validated as these allegations and the video have surfaced shedding light on the dark realities behind Combs' public persona. Her courage in enduring and eventually speaking out about her experiences underscores the rising empowerment of the divine feminine. Public intolerance for abusive behavior 
and exploitation is growing, indicating a paradigm shift. This shift challenges the traditional power dynamics that have long protected the rich and famous. The Divine Feminine promotes balance and harmony, advocating for success measured by well-being and upliftment of all individuals. This shift aligns with Jung's belief that integrating the shadow, the parts of ourselves we reject, leads to wholeness. As a society rejects the toxic behaviors of powerful individuals, we collectively integrate our shadow aspects, moving towards a more equitable and compassionate world. The cases of Combs, Depp, and others reveal that many successful and powerful people lead toxic, hellish lives. The pressure to maintain an image of perfection masks deep-seated problems, including substance abuse, violence, sexually deprived lives, and mental health struggles. These revelations force society to reconsider what it means to be truly powerful and successful. Jung asserted that the greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved, but only outgrown. Change comes from the inside. This paradigm shift is about unlocking a deeper understanding that true fulfillment comes from within not from a false facade of success. A new definition of success is forming. True power and happiness do not come from living in toxic environments or exerting toxic control over others, especially our loved ones. True power stems from living authentically and fostering healthy relationships. The collective consciousness is beginning to embrace this new definition of success prioritizing mental health, equity, and genuine human connection. Jung's philosophy supports this shift. He believed that individuation, which is becoming the person you are meant to be, leads to true fulfillment. We are shifting consciousness. Society is becoming more aware of the dark realities behind the glamorous lives of celebrities leading to a collective shift in consciousness. People are increasingly rejecting the notion that wealth and power excuse abusive behavior. This shift is evident in the growing support for survivors and the demand for accountability from those in positions of power. Young suggested that the process of individuation involves confronting and integrating our shadow selves the parts of our psyche we suppress or deny. This collective realization represents a societal individuation where we confront the shadows of our cultural heroes and seek a more integrated, authentic way of living. The collective consciousness is moving towards embracing authenticity and integrity. The exposure of toxic behavior among the elite serves as a catalyst for this change. People are beginning to prioritize inner peace, authentic relationships, and meaningful contributions over superficial success and materialism. Young's insights into the human psyche highlight the importance of living in accordance with our true selves. By embracing authenticity, society moves towards a state of collective wholeness where true success is measured by the quality of our inner lives and the positive impact we have on others. The downfall of Sean Diddy Combs, marked by the exposure of his abusive behavior, signals a significant moment in our collective consciousness. It serves as a reminder that no amount of wealth or power can hide the truth forever. As society continues to unmask the illusions of success and confront the toxic realities behind them, we move closer to a world where true power is defined by empathy, integrity, and genuine human connection. This shift embodied by the rise of the divine feminine 
challenges old paradigms and paves the way for a more balanced and compassionate society. Thank you for watching and let us know if you appreciate this type of conscious media that breaks down and explains the current drama to a spiritual and collective level. Don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for future updates or joining the More Than A Label Collective by becoming a member of our channel. Let's embark on the awakening journey together.